Today we're going to introduce the Rescue Guard. This is a device that can be utilized to help increase a patient's blood pressure. When we look at this device, it's a simple one-way valve that can be utilized uh, to be put on a patient who's spontaneously breathing and allow that person to breathe against this valve that increases the negative intrathoracic pressure. We're looking at patients who may have hypotension from uh, internal or external hemorrhage and hypovolemia with a blood pressure of less than 90 millimeters of mercury. A patient may also have uh, an issue with dehydration, perhaps anaphylaxis, or even sepsis would be the appropriate type of patients that would be indicated for the application of this device. Again, when we look at this, it can be simply placed over the patient's uh, nose and mouth and the patient breathes against this. When we think of CPAP, that's kind of the opposite of a CPAP pa or a patient that we would put uh, uh, this device on. CPAP is continuous positive airway pressure. It is actually blowing air into the patient's lungs. This device is a one-way valve that, again, increases that negative intrathoracic pressure and thereby helps increase a patient's blood pressure. This can be simply, quickly, and efficiently applied on the patient's mouth and nose in the spontaneously breathing patient and increase patient's blood pressures. Certainly with this device, it will be uh, deployed soon on the ambulances and fire apparatus for use, and we want you to be prepared for utilizing it in the appropriate spontaneously breathing patient who's hypotensive. Uh, we look forward to its applications that are out there, and again, we'll may have many patient scenarios, but one of the important components to this deployment is that we're able to record the information that looks at multiple blood pressure readings, as well as how easily it is to apply to the patient and uh, any problems or concerns that are associated with it. Okay, uh, dispatch reports state we have an 18-year-old male down. Could be a cardiac issue, possibly a dehydration issue. If it is and is hypertensive, just get the rescue guard out. All right, coach, what do we have, sir? Uh, we were doing finishing up some up downs, and he was acting okay, and then he kind of just sort of passed out. He'd been drinking water and everything, but. Okay, Coach, do you know if uh, he takes any medicine for anything daily? Uh, no, I don't, I don't know. Do you know if he has any cardiac issues, diabetic issues, anything like that? No, no he's in good health otherwise. So. Okay. Well, I don't know what happened. Our partners are going to assess him real quick and then we'll be able to determine what's going on. Okay. All right, what did we get on the blood pressure? 77 over 38. All right, you want to go ahead and give me some breath sounds? Lung sounds clear? clear. All right. We have a patient with a hypotensive at 77 over 38, pulse of 135, oxygen saturation at about 96. Lung sounds are clear. I think this would be a good candidate for the rescue guard. Awesome. Let's try that. All right, buddy. I'm going to put this device on you. It's going to help you feel a lot better. What I'm going to need you to do is breathe nice and slow for me, deep and slow. and easy. Could you reassess the blood pressure for me? Alright, what do we got? 120 over 80. 128 over 80. All right, we're not hypertensive anymore. Blood pressure has come up. How are you feeling now? Feel a whole lot better. Good to go. The bleeding seems to be under control. Okay, looks like we have it under control with the tourniquet. Uh, go ahead and uh, let's get another blood Man, brush on her. Right? You bet. How are you feeling? Okay. 77 over 40. Okay, 77 over 40. She's uh, pretty hypotensive. She's feeling pretty tachycardic. Just get a Trendelenburg when you're done there, Damon. Okay, I'm gonna take this cannula off you, okay? We're gonna put this mask on you. It's gonna feel a little uncomfortable at first, but it's gonna help you, okay? It's gonna help us bring your blood pressure back up. Wrist sounds are clear. Wrist sounds are clear. Can you give me that end title? Just bring your blood Don't pressure up. Your blood pressure's dropping, okay? 
take a couple deep breaths. Hopefully this will start bringing your blood pressure up. You'll start okay, feeling better. Let's here get, soon. Uh, get another set of uh, vitals. Get another blood pressure going. O2 sats 96. 87 over 60. Two. Okay, got a blood pressure of 87 over 60. It's uh, rescue guards working. Uh, well, let's go ahead and get rolling. We're already one university. Come in. Allison, the EMS is here. We're paramedics. Uh, what's going on? Um, my friend has a urinary tract infection. She's experiencing uh, fevers and nausea, and it's getting worse. Okay. Ma'am, we're going to get your vitals. Okay. Have you seen a doctor? Yes, they gave me antibiotics and they're not working. They're not working. Okay, we're going to see how your heart's doing too. Blood pressure's going. Partner right now, she is hypotensive and tachycardic. Uh, blood pressure of 80 over 36. Uh, Jacob, let's get the rescue guard going on her. Ma'am, can you use your hands to hold the yes. rescue guard? End title going to? Just put it on your face, get a few puffs, get another blood pressure. Okay, right now, her blood pressure is 100 over 56. I'd like to thank you for taking this time to review this educational uh, material. As you can see with the rescue guard, uh, its ability to help save lives and improve blood pressure readings. Again, I want you to remember and recall that the indications for its use are in those patients who may have hypotension associated with low blood pressure from bleeding from a traumatic either internal or external hemorrhage, also from sepsis, uh, potentially anaphylaxis, or even dehydration. And you can see that it can have the benefit of increasing a patient's blood pressure. In addition, I'd like to thank you for participating in gathering this information and providing feedback for us and ensuring the success of the deployment of the rescue guard at this point in time. Thanks again.